stream live on valleycentral.com. Don't forget that as soon as the game ends, an hour later, you can see the game in its entirety on valleycentral.com. This game will be brought to you courtesy of KBSD ITV, that's the Brownsville Independent School District, and our very own Porter High School Arts Popular Technology students who are producing it tonight. Right now, the Porter Cowboys are running off to the field, and soon you will see the professor Reds running into the field. I'm Ben Melendez, I will be your uh, play by the play commentator tonight. I hope you enjoy tonight's game. This is the first game for the Cowboys who have struggled the last couple of years trying to get wins. Uh, today's game is the first attempt for the Cowboys to try to see if they can get a win. We will see what happens at the end of the game. Of course, the Red Ants will be doing their best to try to avoid the loss tonight here at Sanders Memorial Stadium. And I'm sure coaches will be trying their best, and the students will be trying their best to achieve the victory tonight. trying to do today and is trying to get a victory for the first time in it's been about two years for the Cowboys. It's been a while since they last won a game. I believe since 2012, 2011 was the last time that the Cowboys were able to get a win. Now, tonight is their first attempt for victory. Cowboys will be kicking it off. They will be kicking it off to the Professor Rance. Kicking off for the Cowboys. Let's see the number here. Hey, Professor Rance, get it over to the field. Number seven for the Cowboys, Nick Pacheco. He will be kicking off for the Cowboys. We got the ball this set. That's the receive for the Rance. Still going, still on his feet. 
All the way down to the 20, 35, and finally brought down, I believe it's the 34 yard line. We'll see where they spot it. Okay, ball being spotted at the 35 yard line. That's about a 28 yard run for all the Bills. Again, Redass. Again, it's a handoff from Lucky Meadows. This time he cuts it to the right hand side and he's right down a little quicker this time. Maybe getting about three or four yards. We'll see where they spot the ball. Okay, the ball is being spotted at the 32 yard line. So that'll be a three yard run for Lucky Meadows. Second and seven for the Redass. The Cowboys defense. Struggling a little bit here at the beginning of the game. This time they go trips to the left hand side. Still shotgun formation. And this time it's a big handoff. It's a keeper by the quarterback who goes down after about five yards. And that's number two for the red hands. I don't have any, uh, I, I would think it's not a medical symbol, but I don't have any number two on my roster. Okay, ball being spotted at 38 yard line, so that'll be six yards. And we're going to the third and five. Actually, off the way. Here we go. Receiver gets the ball. He breaks the tackle this time. He's going to go down at about the 28. Okay, ball being spotted at the 27 yard line. So brings up a fourth now, and about a yard to go. And it looks like number one, Eddie Lewis is going to punt the ball. Actually, no, they're going to try to run it. Get back. Oh, when the Cowboys jumped offside. I don't know if the offense is not moving or not, but they may go against the Cowboys. Let's see what the officials say. Offside. On the defense. Five yard penalty. He is an offside on the defense. That's a five yard penalty. Yard to go. That'd be a long, long yard. Or 
a short two. I formation for the whistle. Oh, they bumped the snap, so it goes down. The Cowboys will be taking over on downs by the looks of this. I don't think they got to the first down. It was a bad snap. Ball was fumbled by the quarterback, picked up, and they tried to run it, but uh, they, I believe it was stopped at about the 12-yard line. We'll see. Maybe 13. We'll see if they spot the ball. It's going to be close. Turnover. So that's the first turnover of the game. So the 
Cowboys with one turnover already. So the Cowboy defense gets back on the field. Let's see what formation the Redhounds go to. Again, the quarterback for the Redhounds is number two. I don't have a name for number two, so I'm not sure who the quarterback is. Trips to the hand side, shot in a formation. It's a handoff over the middle, cuts into the hand side, and he's got running room. Took it about eight yards before he was brought down. We'll see where they stop the ball. They're having a hard time stopping over the middle. He keeps going right, left, and left to left. Uh, ball being placed at the 31 yard line, so that goes a seven yard run. Second and three for the Red Hats. By the quarterback, he's being chased, and he's run down. It's a sack by number seven, David Pacheco. Nice job by Pacheco bringing down the quarterback. Don't be in spot. You see right here against the replay. Here comes Pacheco, and he's down. All be in spot at the 37 yard line. So that one goes a six yard sack by number seven, Pacheco. Now we're going to six yards, and we have about nine yards to go here. Shotgun formation, look at the pass. Here comes the speedy rush, quarterback here, coming to the left hand side. Oh, he gets the first down. He just squirted out of bounds about a yard ahead of where he needed to be. So that should be a first down, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see where they spot the ball. Quarterback keeper. Oh, there's a flag on the field. I didn't notice that. Turn the line. With clip, number one of the offense. That's a clipping. That's a harsh penalty because it's going to be hard to get a first down now. 15 yards out. So a 15 yard clipping penalty. That pushes him back all the way to the red 48 yard line. And brings up a uh, fourth, actually a third because they didn't move down. Third at about 24 yards, so third and 24 for one of the Red Hats. Shot in formation, trips to the right hand side for the Red Hats. And they're looking fast, looking, looking, they're going deep. He overshot the receiver. He was going after number 10, and I say this on the run, but he overshot his receiver. So it will be a fourth down now. Incomplete pass. Intended for uh, number 10, Isaiah Roman. It's on the run. Isaiah's on the run. So fourth and 24 for the Red Hats. Ball at the 48 yard line. Looks like they're going to go for it, huh? Actually, no, they're getting ready to run it. Get it back. They're still in the... There he goes. Kick is up. Field it at the 20. Now, check the ball to the 24. Let's see where they spot the ball. So the Cowboys stop the Red Ants. We'll see where they take over. See where they spot the ball here. So the quarterback for the Red Hands is number two, but I'm going to go somewhere. I have a different number on here. We, uh, we're just correcting on that. Here we go. Cowboys at the 25 yard line. First and 10. Operation. It's a handoff. Here we go. Look at this. Looks like he was going to get a little more than he got, but he still got a good yard I think. We just about as many hours to see what he's got the ball. The ball being spotted at the 29, so that goes as a four yard run. Second and six for the Cowboys. 
seven yard run for Lucas and brings it up another seven down. First and ten. Now they're in the red zone. They're within striking distance. Let's see if they can cap it off with a touchdown or a field goal. Garrison Reed in the backfield. And this time it goes to Reed, but this time the defense was stout, and I think he might have gotten to the. Well, maybe not. Maybe he lost the yard on that one. We'll see where they spotted the ball. I was going to say he got. He went for a new game. But let's see where they spotted. They are spotted at the 18 yard line, which is a one yard loss. That's second and 11. Garrison Reed with the ball. Garrison Reed with the ball. Garrison Reed with the ball. Second and 11 for the Cowboys. That's the end of the first quarter. So at the end of the first quarter, the score is 0 to 0. And we're flipping sides, so we're going to the opposite side of the field. Both teams do a great job with the run. The uh, Red Hands with only the Meadows. The Meadows with the first series had a 9 yard run, 28 yard run, 3 yard run. Then they had a quarterback keeper. The Cowboys started doing the same thing with the Cowboys. The Cowboys fumbled, so uh, the Rams got the ball back. The defense held. Uh, and now the Cowboys ready to score with the ball at the 18 yard line. Second and 11. The uh, defense held style of the last snap. Let's see what they do this time around. Again, the combination of with the other is Ken Reed, high formation from the Cowboys, split receivers. All this snap is going to be a pass. Oh, and he overshot it. He was going for Reed, but he overshot him. It's an incomplete pass intended for number 22 Reed. Brings up a third and 11 for the Cowboys. Ball remains at the 18 yard line. Switch out personnel, B comes off the field. Gutierrez is still out there. Here we go, they got uh, shotgun formation. They're splitting the receivers two and two with the other little bag in the back. He was trying to spread the up defense up. And here comes a miss. He throws it. As, oh, there's going to be a flag. He had a receiver open, but he couldn't get it there. Let's see what the flag is. I don't know if it's going to be on the offense or the defense. I didn't really see what was happening out there. Let's get the official call. Here we go. Ineligible receiver downfield on the offense, number nine. Oh, not a good penalty for the Cowboys. That's just bad. Fourth down. That's still your hand. That's fourth down. That's fourth down. No action for the camera. So they're going to go for a field goal, and the field goal will be attempted by uh, Pacheco. He's got a very strong leg, as you saw the kicker off of the game. Beginning of the game, kick is up, nice kick, looks like no good. He uh, went left. So, field goal attempt for now. That was a number seven by Checo. We're finally going to get that field goal. So, not worse. So, now the Red Ants take over the first and ten at the uh, Red Ants 18 yard line. Let's see what they can do. So, neither team has been able to score on a nice series. Moving the ball down the field, but not being able to score. The red has to go with shotgun formation. They split the receiver to 2 2. And it's a big hand up for a back keeper. And he's got it to the right hand side. Pushed him out of bounds. He might have gotten the first down. We'll see where they spot it. That's that little bit of a sound the quarterback keeper. The ball is being placed at 29 yard line, so 
So that sheep would have said, Let me yard run. New set of animals. Verse 2 10. For the grass. So that little Sonora. Oh, they have run. It's a hand down and oh, nice hit! Number 56, Luis Quiroz. Lay down the hammer on that one. We'll see it on the instant replay. And you see it right here with this tackle, and then here comes 56 and brings it right down. Ball being spotted at the 28 yard line. So we're up a third and two. It's a handoff to the fullback. I don't think he got the first down. I think he's short, but we'll see. I could not see the number, but I think it was 39. On that. No on that. You don't have to that brings us up fourth and one for the Grants. So they're going to have to punt. The ball at the 29 yard line. That was a one yard run. And there's a punt. The Cowboys are probably just going to return it. They will be down in the ball at about the 23 yard line, and the Cowboys will take over. Again, the score is 0 0. The team has been able to score, or both teams have been able to move the ball, but neither one has been able to score. So, first and 10 for the Cowboys, ball being placed at the 23 yard line. Yeah. And the Cowboys. Back on the field. We see where's out there for the Cowboys. Number 11, Ernesto Martinez. And number 8, to Ray Lannis. Lannis. High formation for the Cowboys. Combination of Reed and Gutierrez. Here he goes. He has the ball. Right up the gun. Nice run, you can tell you, the combination of the other speed. Nice combination. Okay. Okay, ball being placed at the 32, so I thought it was a 90 yard run. Second one for the Cowboys, who have not struggled at running the ball, that's for sure, except when they get close. This time where the backs are side by side. Uh, Alvarez hands it off to uh, Reed. It was Reed at the sign, but uh, I don't think he did anything. He got stopped. He was a third of the year. So Reed did it. Yeah, about 32 yards line. So it's a new game. So third and one for the Cowboys. Walk remains at the 32-yard line. He gets up in the ministry. It's as close as the So the chain gang goes out. See how uh, much the Cowboys have to go. And I think it's it. Oh, it's a first down. Actually, he got a good job. So the ball is being placed at the 33. So a one yard run <clears throat> brings up a first and ten for the Cowboys. Ball being spotted at the 33 yard line. Good job by Reed. Yeah. High formation for the Cowboys. Reed has the fullback. Elvis has the uh, running back. Oh, 
the pass. He throws the pass. Oh, it's squirted right out of the receiver's hands. That was number 10, Isaiah Sutherland. And Porter almost had a pick, but St. Brown squirted right out of the defender's hands. So that goes as an incomplete pass to number 10, Sutherland. Third and eight, four, the third and eight, ball over eight, second, third and seven, you are on the line. We got 528 left in the first half. Super receivers again. Here we go. Looking, it's going to be a pass. Now being pressure is Tabuberto, and he goes down. So Tabuberto Zamora gained a few, well, maybe, maybe a yard. We'll see what we spot it. Here's your Insta Replay, you can see it on the screen, he takes off, keeps it. And it will be a first jam, ball will be spied at the third and eight. So technically he gains his yard, he's going to be a quarter minute, seven quarter minutes. And you're going to have to be on it. If you're going to be on it, you're going to have to be on it. You're going to have to be on it. Okay, time out for this. I guess they want to talk it over. There's uh, 4 minutes, 49 seconds left in the first half before we go into halftime. Right now, both teams seem to be moving the ball relatively well. Although, uh, the combination of the guys on the Cowboys on that seems to be doing a good job. Nonetheless, both teams are doing a good job offensively. Uh, they can uh, see the score. Both of them struggling to score. Coaches are strong. The Cowboys have a lot of money. The guys who were here before the half, by the same token, I'm sure that the rest of us are here. Obviously, we can't allow to score. <laughs> good, uh, good running on both sides. Let me tell you, we'll feel that was a good bridge on running at the end of the combination of three minutes. Both well, guys also on the bridge. I'm back to receive the punt. Number seven, David Pacheco. Cowboys have had two turnovers, that's what stole their offense. And uh, Red Hats have yet to turn the ball over, but they might be able to score. Here comes the punt. So what I get it, it's going to go out of bounds. No, actually, let me go with my check goes. And it's down to about the 19 yard line. Okay, first and ten for the Cowboys. Ball being placed, was it at 19? Sure, it's a 19. Maybe about a foot short of the 19, but we'll just say the 19. The Cowboy Hunt sent it back into the field. Green and Gutierrez. And he landed. Let me tell you what, quarterback's best to win his own game. That's something to pull the Cowboys right now, see if they have. I formation for the Cowboys. Full back is V. And he is the back. Hands it to the Gutierrez. Gutierrez goes right at the gut. Spins and he gets away. Oh, he's got the way around. Oh, wow. Oh, we have to go up from 50 yard line. We'll see where they spot it. We'll see it on the instant replay right here. He hit that hole and then uh, somebody almost had him, but he squirted away. Right here. See him break a tackle. Spins away. Ball being spotted at the 50 yard line, and then he's brought down right there at the 50. So that'll go as a 31 yard run for number 35, George Gutierrez. First and 10 Cowboys, high formation. And here we go. And again, it was a handoff to Gutierrez in the lead. Quite see the number on that one. Nonetheless, they moved it forward. Ball will be placed at the 47, so that'll go as a three yard run for the Cowboys. Second and seven. And how about out of the center? Running back, side by side. Sack. 
hours and they look all beautiful and then they start struggling. Paul being the place that they go and not. So technically, that goes to the two yard sack, coming up in third and nine for the Cowboys. Now, the best is called the timeout, so they're going to be discussing it. The rest needs to stop the uh, Cowboys from getting a first down. If they do, they'll have a good uh, two minutes of change to try to score. However, if they don't, they are left with one timeout. Cowboys, I'm sure, want to get a first down on this one. The ending with the FS. Doing a great job running. Yes, with that 31 yard run not too long ago. And they switched off the uh, read to put in number 21. And that was Jonathan Leal. And Jonathan Leal was the one with the three yard carry. Shotgun formation. Split receivers to do. Look at the pass. Toss it. Got a receiver. First down. He goes off bounds. Number eight on the reception is Fayette Yanez. Nice pass and catch by the Cowboys. Ball being placed at the very at 36 yard line. So that goes a 13 yard catch. Great. He's a man of the Cowboys. High formation. Come on, under center. Oh, he fumbled again. Oh, that quarterback exchanged about three times. Then he dropped the ball, and guess what? This time, the Redbacks get it back. They can't seem to be able to do much. After moving the ball, that's the third turnover for the Cowboys. Wow. I'm sure that's what I mean. The coach is saying, Tom Campos probably saying, come on, guys, you got to hold on to that ball. First and ten for the Reds. They got three minutes to do something, actually, 302. The ball being spotted at 36 in our line. I formation for the Rams. They have been going exclusively in the shut, shut and chop gun. I can't even talk about it. One thing goes with the carry, not much doing. I think he lost the yardage or maybe got to the line of scrimmage. And at least he goes with the tackle. The ball remains at 36, and that goes as a no game. Second and ten for the Rams. Clock is running. 235 and counting for the half. They remain in the high formation. Oh, something happens. Yellow flies all over the place. Let's get the official call. Full start. Three million dropping. So a five-yard false start for the Rams. So that will be a second and 15. Ball goes back to the third yard line. Second and 15. So the Rams offense is helping out the Cowboy defense on that one. Out of formation. And it's going to be a big handoff. They're throwing a pass. Nothing. Nothing at all. Incomplete pass. Squirted out of the receiver's hands. So third and 15 for the Yardas. Ball remains at the 31. That stops the clock. 214. Alright, looks like they're going back to the shotgun formation. Straight receivers 2-2. Two, two. I think it was a little back. Someone gets the ball, he's looking, looking. 
Tosses the ball. He's got a receiver. Oh, he's going to get a first down right there. He's down, but he got a first down. He was wide open. Nobody was on him. Took it all the way to the Cowboy 48. 48 yard line. About a 21 yard catch. And it's a first and 10 for the Rams. I was taking it. We're under two minutes right now. Again, shotgun formations. Two receivers, two two. He had a little back. Hey, 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 the ball! And I think the Cowboys recovered. We'll see what they say. Oh, I guess they recovered. So they look down on that one. So the bubble. Recovery by the name Red S. So second down, ball being placed at the 49, so they lost a yard. Second and 11 for the Professor Red S. And here we go. Shotgun formation trips to the right hand side. Looking to pass. Looking, looking, looking. looking. He tosses, has the receiver. Oh, he shot an interception. The quarterback, number 33 for the Cowboys, got it. He runs out of bounds. Robert Lopez with the pick. First turnover for the Red Ants. And there's an INT. So we're going to look at the He had plenty of time. Through the ball of the game out of nowhere. It comes 23, excuse me. Raul Sandoval. I thought it was 33. My apologies. So number 23. Sandoval with the INT. And there are flights, though. We'll see what happens. And that's against the Cowboys. That's going to be too bad if it's against the uh, Red Hats. The Cowboys are going to keep the ball. We'll see what happens. Let's get the official call. After the run, we had offsetting deck off. Penalty. Number 56 on the offense was border side. Number 68 on the Florida side. Ball is placed at the end of the run. Okay, penalty happened at the end of the run, and it's offset in penalties by the looks of it. So therefore, the Cowboys should keep the ball. First and ten. And they are at their, actually, the ball's being spotted at the 50 yard line. Midfield. Cowboys shotgun formation. Apparently, the official are still talking about it. I guess they want to make sure they get the ball spotted at the right place. Okay, there we go. The Cowboys have a minute in which to. Drive the ball down the field. Can they pull it off? We'll find out. If not, we'll end up on a 0 0 score. Let's see. Okay. Shot by formation for the Cowboys. Slip the receivers to do. And here we go, first and ten. On the snap, my battle looks slow with low snap. Oh, oh shoot, the receiver almost goes a pick. Holy smokes. Wow. It was intended for number 23 by Wilson Lovato, but almost a pick by number three, Danny Munoz of the Reds. With the Reds. Here we go. So, Nico Key Pass. Contender for 23. Sound about Second and 10 for the Cowboys. Ball remains at the 50. Under center. Goes up and up. Oh, that shotgun for me. Excuse me. What am I talking about? Looking, looking. Shoots it. Got some receiver. Yeah, has a receiver. All the way down to about the 39. We'll see where they spot it. That's probably going to be a first down. 53 seconds on the clock. It is going to be a first set of downs. First and 10. 
Hurry up, young man, with the catch. Clock is ticking. Ball at 39. That was an 11 yard catch. Oh, here's the fight. Something happened.
Center quarterback exchange, not working for the Cowboys. And it's at one timeout left. They got nine seconds and they try to throw the ball. Timeout, but they're taking their own timeout. I figured they would try to throw a pass and then maybe call a quick timeout in case they can succeed. So first and ten for the Red Hats. The ball being placed at the 37 yard line. So they may have try to pass to the end zone. Nine seconds, see what happens. Obviously, the offensive line is going to have to do a good job protecting the quarterback because it's going to take a while to get down there. But, uh, ouch. That's all I can say. Five turnovers for the Cowboys. Ouch. We'll see what they decide to do. A couple of things they can do. They can get into the and just go into the half. Maybe up 17. Or they can try to have a sale of the gas. We'll see what happens. And it looks like they're going to try to pass. Trips to the right hand side. Maybe they're going to go back. Looking, looking, looking. They can throw it. They have a receiver. And they bring it down. The clock is going to run out. Got it all the way down to about the 18 yard line. I think we're going to see 18. And that's how we're going to go into the half. The score 7 0 in favor of the Progressive Red Pants. Uh, we will be stopping counting and we'll be going to the halftime to the end. For your viewing pleasure. We'll be back in the second half. Thank you.